Hi, everybody. I hope this finds you well and that you had a, uh, a nice weekend. But what is a weekend anymore? I don't know. The days all seem the same. Do they to you? We wanted to take a few minutes to go over the weekly band schedule. On the slide deck, we've included tabs that more clearly specify the days so that you can track that a little bit more easy, uh, easily from a visual standpoint. For Monday, please remember to answer the question of the day posted on Google Classroom. That counts as your daily classroom credit and check-in. And then practice 15 minutes. We've uh, included some documents here. We got some great feedback that uh, some of you in the surveys asked if you could just be given more specific direction about what to practice. And so what I'm giving you right now is an option A and an option B. This one is for the brass and the woodwinds. And option A and option B both have a fundamental sequence that is the same uh, within each group. And by the way, I introduced that terminology last week without explaining what that was, so I'm sorry about that. The fundamental sequence basically just points to the concept exercises we would typically do at the beginning of class. So you have a fundamental sequence that you're doing each day, and that's the same in both option A and option B. And then option A is you can choose what you would like to work on for the rest of the time. Option B details more specifics about things that you can be doing during that 15 minute minimum practice window. And there's a lot of really good information there. Hopefully it's specific enough to be helpful to give you some structure and guidance to your practice time. And you are welcome, by the way, to go back and forth between the two options. Don't feel like you're signing up for option A for the week. If on Monday you're feeling like, oh, I know exactly what I want to do, you can do option A, but then on Tuesday you're feeling a little stuck, then you can do option A or option B for Tuesday. I mean, call me crazy, you could even do option B on Tuesday doing Monday's exercises. This is really up, for, up to you to design how you would like to use your time with just a little bit more structure. Percussion, you were also given a choose your own adventure doc and it is laid out in a similar manner uh, as the WINS document, but gives you obviously specific information about what to do as a percussionist. If you are a woodwind player who has not gone yet for your wind ensemble audition, I know there are a small number of you yet to do your auditions, please click on the link and sign up on this Google Doc here with your name and your email. Auditions will be Wednesday and Thursday of this week. If for some reason these two windows of time don't work for you, shoot me an email separately and we'll figure something out. I've got lots of availability throughout the rest of the week. But please do include your email because that's how I will send you a link, uh, a Zoom link for your audition, and we will do your auditions over Zoom. If you are a brass player, your auditions will be held April 14th through the 17th, and during spring break, I will send out an email uh, or put out uh, something on Google Classroom, rather, that asks you to sign up for your audition time after spring break. Percussion, piano, and string bass auditions will be April 22nd and 23rd. And please know that uh, I will have clarified information for the percussionists on what your auditions look like by the end of this coming week. Also, Mr. Dandria uh, helped put together a new syllabus for online learning. So we wanted to show you that and make sure that you took a quick glance at this. It very clearly details how we're shifting, especially in the absence of, of, in the absence of performances, how we're shifting the grading and the course expectations. And we also talk about digital citizenship and how we're going to work together as a band when we're collaborating online. And then the grading policy. <clears throat> Something that's important to know here is that the percentages are the same as they were earlier in the year, but for performances, we're now calling those performance submissions, and the weekly playing uh, tests, if you will, that you're giving us will count as your performance submissions. Please know that we're not grading those performance submissions, those playing tests. Um, we're grading those for completion, and we're going to give you feedback to help guide your playing, but that we're not going to be uh, grading those uh, for um, kind of accuracy or achievement. It's just to make sure that we're having a dialogue with you about your playing throughout this whole process. So check out the syllabus for an overview of what remote learning will look like. And then a reminder due this week, practice journal is due on Friday and that the recorded assignment is due by Friday. Uh, both of these assignments will be pinged on Google Classroom Monday morning, so that way you have easy access to those right at the beginning of the week. 
And uh, I created a short video, which I'm not going to play for you, but just wanted you to show, I wanted to show you the link uh, demonstrating what the exercise is for the week. So that way you know what you are submitting. Hopefully no questions there. Tuesday, very straightforward, answer question of the day, minimum 15 minutes. These links are the same as Monday, so you don't need to click on those again, but they're there just for your convenience. And then a quote, this really spoke to me today. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is the little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. I really like that. Reminder, because our classes meet four days a week, we combine Wednesday and Thursday now. So you'll need to check in either Wednesday or Thursday for your QOTD, and then you do practice 15 minutes both days. This week, in place of doing class-specific Zooms, uh, which we'll come back to after spring break, but for this next week, what we wanted to do is actually just do open band room office hours. And uh, there are links to both Zoom meetings here. They are different links. So depending on which day you wanna drop in, you're welcome to come one or both days. You're not required to come to one or either, but it's a chance for you to say hello, to ask a question, or to see another human uh, besides your lovely family. And then Friday to close out our week, question of the day, minimum 15 minute practice session. Remember to submit your recorded assignment by 9 p.m. and to submit your practice logs by 9 p.m. And then if you wanted something a little extra for the weekend, uh, we posted a link to a TED talk here on finding yourself through music. It's 10 minutes, uh, but just a little something maybe to offer you some inspiration and some thought about your own, uh, how music uh, helps to influence you in your life. We hope you stay safe, sane, and well through spring break, and we'll look forward to seeing you very soon.